All right, folks, I'm finally working on the car to get that rebuilt engine I've been posting pictures of a year ago, or almost a year ago, somewhere around there. Uh, I put it on hold after I rebuilt the replacement, and now I'm attacking the engine that's in the car. And here's what we got. I got the heads off, both sides. I've got the gears off. I got the water pump off. Um, I just wire loom will pull all the way back. This wire loom will pull all the way back. I've got it designed unplugged from everything except for the mount point right there. And uh, I've got to get this heat shield off. I've got to get that heat shield off. I've got to disconnect the exhaust so these two cats are loose and maneuver. I can maneuver them around so I can actually get back here and loosen the back motor mount and then I gotta loosen the transmission from the upper housing and then I've got to get under there and get that oil pan out of the way and then um, and I should be able to do that once I get the exhaust disconnected I should be able to reach in there and I'll have to crank the engine a little bit <clears throat> and get that uh, flywheel so I can remove the bolt so it'll disconnect it from the uh, torque converter and then at that point, I'll have to put this thing on some straps and I can move it forward. One reason I want to get the exhaust out of there, there's not a lot of room to move. But I want to, uh, the mechanic that was here working on another car, he said I should be able to move it about one to two inches this way. It's all I need. And then it can come straight on out. So, making some progress. And while I got the engine out, I'm going to clean all this down. And I may end up respraying the inside of this engine, painting it. These fenders, this car wasn't an accident, so there was some front-end work here with the grill work, but these fenders look like the paint's so cheap that it's literally just gone off, just wore off all by itself, which is odd. I don't have never had a car do that. So the, since the back one has a uh, heat shield, foam or padded heat shield on it on the firewall, I'm not going to worry about it, but I'm going to remove as much as I can off the sides, and I'm going to paint these fenders, and I'll probably end up painting the subframe too, since the Pontiac's still working. Um, <clears throat> I may take more a couple more months to finish this out, but once I get the engine out, I can work around the transmission or I can pop the axles off and leave the transmission in place. I'll degrease, lightly sand the uh, frame, and I'll recoat it with something that's pretty durable. Put new motor mounts in it. I'm going to put a new radiator in it. I found them online. I can get one for like 80 bucks for a radiator. <laughs> And the reason I'm going to replace the radiator, not just reuse it or have it cleaned up, is for 80 bucks I can put a brand new one in here. And the fact that this engine failed, there was uh, oil in the antifreeze. It's looked a lot more well. Actually, it looks a lot better on camera. Uh, this rust shows up better on camera than it does in, in me looking at the head. But this is the back middle cylinder. It's the one that seized up. And the cylinders, the pistons rusted bad, and the cylinder walls. This one did something similar and it rusted as well. So it looks like, um, and the mechanic that was here working on the Pontiac, he looked, he came over to look at it because he was interested. He goes, oh yeah, head gaskets. I threw away one head gasket. Let me see if I can get it. This might be it. And is it it? I can't tell yet. The other one was thrown away. Oh, that is it. Here we go. So I think this was in the engine like that. On the back well look at that right there the corrosion in the head gasket there you go so it was bad enough to allow it to leak into the cylinder and ruined it let me see if I can get the picture of the actual cylinder for you ah crap I closed it hang on All right, here we go. See? Oily brown, oily black, rust. Anyway, I'm having fun with it, even though my body's sore as hell. I'm old for this. Bye.